one thing I've always liked to watch on YouTube are DVD builds. As someone who plays this game quite a lot, I've always been interested in how people can come up with cool and unique builds for their favorite characters when they're playing Killer, or just generally good builds for Survivor, since, let's be real, Survivors are literally just skins, besides the perks they come with. In my favorite subsection of the build genre, by far, has definitely got to be the lore-accurate builds. And I thought I'd take my own crack at this, because I haven't really seen a lore-accurate Leverface build that I was really 100% satisfied with. And since he's my main, I thought, why not? Texas Chainsaw, the original movie, is also my favorite horror movie of all time. If not my favorite movie of all time, it's kind of a toss-up with the Blues Brothers of all movies. Um, but, uh, yeah. And I'm going to do this a little different. This isn't just one lore-accurate Leverface build. In the original movie, Bubba wears three different masks, and each mask changes how he acts, basically. I'm going to be sort of adapting that with three different builds, one for each getup he has in the movie. The first of which is the cannibal in his iconic killing mask. For this build, we got Sloppy Butcher, because in the movie, Bubba, he's a butcher. He hits people over the head with his sledgehammer to knock them out when he's wearing this mask. He actually only uses his chainsaw once in this outfit, which is pretty iconic, though, not gonna lie. He's also gonna have Iron Grasp, as there's a pretty iconic scene where someone comes in and sees him, they run out, then he grabs them and just carries them all the way from the front of his house all the way to a meat hook, which, I mean, <laughs> come on. Can't get any more perfect in terms of adaptation than Iron Grasp for that. We're also going to be using Skurchuk Gift of Pain, since I feel like this fits as, again, he put that lady on the meat hook, and <laughs> you could tell they were really badly messed up by him doing that, and <laughs> what better way to adapt the, the pain that he was inflicting by doing that than Skurchuk Gift of Pain. And lastly, Infectious Fright, because, again, that one iconic scene with the chainsaw where he does use the chainsaw, he butchers Franklin in front of Sally Hardesty. And Sally, seeing her brother murdered, screams out in terror and just sort of stands there. And as he does that, Franklin drops his flashlight, which is where the perk Franklin's Demise comes in. But the thing is, I'm not using that perk because Franklin's Demise only works on basic attacks. But he was using the chainsaw. That's not a basic attack. Thankfully, though, the B Grim chains out on is basically Franklin's for the chainsaw, which I will be using alongside the uh, knife scratches because his chainsaw was pretty well worn. <laughs> but he didn't have any entity beast marks because, again, that's an uh, add on that's after the movie. That's part of the DVD lore, not the actual Texas chainsaw lore. So, again, I have focused on lore accuracy and staying true to the film over being a practical really strong Bubba build. So because of that, this isn't 100% practical. I mean, Sloppy Butcher isn't something you really need on Bubba. You're going to try to go for your chainsaw most more times than not. And with Gift of Pain, it's arguably redundant. But, again, I am focusing on the accuracy to the film. And to me, this is much more accurate to the film than if I were to swap it out with something that's more practical like Bamboozle. Because... Bubba didn't really vault anything in the film, and if he did, the entity wasn't going to block it, because the original Texas Chainsaw was not a supernatural film. Other than, well, Grandpa, that is, but that's really more arguable than anything else. So, to conclude this lore accurate build, here is seven minutes of gameplay using this Killing Mask lore accurate build. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I was stupid and didn't record commentary for it when I was doing it, and I feel like I'd be pretty disingenuous to just record the commentary after and act like it's live commentary, because it's not. Um, so hopefully you forgive the silence on the gameplay, but I think the gameplay can speak for itself. I did get the games, the map, which is mostly a survivor-sided map, unless you're the nurse, um, or doctor, I guess, is a good one on that map as well. But it's not too rough on Bubba since the chainsaw can destroy those pallets really easily. Um, it's just that's what you're going to be doing 99% of the game because it's Bubba. <laughs> and this is the game. So, free drop heaven. Um, it's still it's a fun game. I did pretty good, I think. Uh, considering it caught a 4K. <laughs>
but, but that's honestly not very practical. But, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. And I will continue this series tomorrow, actually, because I already have all the footage recorded for all three of these builds, with, of course, the uh, old lady outfit, which is the next chronological outfit he wears in the movie. And I will just give you a fair warning before that video comes out. If you think this build is not practical, trust me, that one's even less practical. Even the add-ons aren't practical. But it's at least a fun build to run uh, for more accuracy, I guess. Uh, well, you'll just have to wait and see. Um, until then, peace out. Oh! <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you.